A-A-C-F-P. Welcome to Sunday Song Reading number 225. Setting up the puppet video. Behind the scenes. So We're paying him extra time. He's our stage hand. There we go. Dinosaur stage hand. some money for ransom. season to be all alone. 
It sure is depressing when you're all alone. And lots of people are all alone, Judy. That happens to the best of us puppets. Hey, Giancarlo, I missed you. I sure miss you, too. The one bad thing about being in Mexico is that we couldn't be together. But now we're all here as one big puppet family. Judy, it's okay. We'll cheer you up. You will? Yeah, remember the dance we do? The galactic cha-cha-cha? We haven't done it for everyone yet this year. I can't wait to sing the galactic cha-cha-cha. Remember how much fun we had last year? Well, we're going to have twice as much fun singing it now. I hope everyone out there does the galactic cha-cha-cha, because it's not just about celebrating any holiday. It's also celebrating a love, whether you're single or in a relationship or um, having a hard relationship or having a baby. Whatever it is, the galactic cha-cha-cha is for you and me. And we're all going to sing it together. Uh-oh. We're going to get ready. See you in a minute. Giancarlo, I don't remember how to do, like, how it starts. Can you remind me how the melody goes? Well, maybe if Aviva and Betsy will come sing with us and play the ukulele, then we'll all remember. I can help with that. Scribble. 
Scribbles. You had a good year. I did. All of you out there, what are your resolutions? I know you might have asked me some things, Giancarlo, but I want to know what your favorite thing was about this year and maybe what you're looking forward to this coming well, year. Well, as a teddy bear, I don't have a very long memory. So, oh. so my, the best thing that happened this year was my cruise to Mexico. That's what I remember. Wow, well and that sounds like it probably was the best thing, except I wasn't there. At least I got to escape the my work life for a little while, and I just got to be Bessie's friend. Really? You don't do therapy everywhere? No, Bessie didn't need therapy because she was in her bikini in the hot sun having so much fun. Wow! And, and she drank Mai Tais. Wow! But I wasn't there. That was the only thing missing, Scribbles, Really? Your friendship. Aw, but we Skyped. Yeah, we Skyped it for sure. I talked to you from the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Wow. What are you looking forward to this year? Well, I'm looking forward to helping Bessie finish her dissertation so she can be called Dr. Gansborg, and then all my work will have been worthwhile. But if she doesn't finish her dissertation, well, she's going to be a failure, so I better work hard, Scribbles. Whoa. Well, didn't you just get recertified yourself? Yes, I updated my license to be a state certified therapy bear. So I, I'm doing coursework all the time and learning how to be a better therapy bear because I really want Betsy to be a doctor. <laughs> What's wrong, Scribbles? <laughs> oh, dear. I feel so incompetent compared to you. Oh, Scribbles. But what makes you valuable is just that you are. It's not just what you do. It's it's just that you're scribbles. Can I give you a hug? No! Okay, that's okay, too. I just feel like I never got certified to be therapy scribbles. Well, you could be. I could sign you up in my program where I'm in school. Wait, I don't want to be. I don't want to be you because I want to be me. That's right, Scribbles. I'm not a therapist. I am a help-eyed, wide-open bundle of joy. You just be good at being you, Scribbles. Okay. Look, look at this fuzzy tail. I wish I had a fuzzy tail. Excuse me. Please ask my permission before touching my fuzzy tail. I'm sorry. I'm just having a bad day. Scribbles, I thought you were happy about the holidays Challenging, you know, the parents that, you know, apart, you know, children have to chill, they have to travel. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, don't worry, animals, we're here for you. Can I touch your fuzzy tail? Sure, you can touch it since you asked my permission. Are you sure? Yep, I'm totally sure. <laughs> So parents. Wow. Yeah. No, Scribbles, it's like you have two mommies, Melania and Aviva. Yeah. It'll be okay. That's baby. what it's like to be adopted. You actually have more parents. No, Melania is just like my friend. Oh, she's not your mommy? No. Only Aviva is your mommy? No one will be his mommy but me. Unless she officially adopts him. I mean, I loved all the material things, 
like, you know, no offense, Mom, but like the fancier stuff and like the fancier cars and like, I even got some clothing. I haven't shown them to you yet, but I just felt so out of place and weird. Like I was a weirdo and I felt like people were pointing at me and looking at me funny and I never feel like that with you guys. You don't point at me you like I'm different. Unconditionally, Scribbles. No matter how many horns you have or how fluffy your hair or not fluffy it is or how happy your eyes are, we just love you, that's all. The only time I felt normal is when we went to a visit in FAO Schwartz and I hung out with other animals. Animals need animals. They do. In fact, animals who need animals are the luckiest animals in the world. The luckiest animals in the yucky, sludgy, coal ash stuff, and that we can plant hemp, hemp around all the toxic stuff to help f f f f f f f remediate everything, and I just talked to her, and then she even got, she even ordered some hemp clothing. Yeah, and now hemp is legal in the state of Georgia. It's such a happy time, Scribbles. Thank you to you and your mommy and all your activism. Well, it's legal everywhere, but, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be complicated with getting laws for us to grow it. So everyone needs to call people and like, you know, say, we wanna grow hemp everywhere, everywhere. Can, can animals call their elected representatives too? Oh, absolutely. And puppets? Yeah, of course. So animals and puppets and people out there, call your elected representatives and tell them to make good laws. Yeah, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. I even taught Melania the galactic cha-cha-cha. Everyone should sing the galactic cha-cha-cha. It's Yay! galactic. It's galactic. Thank you everybody for watching. This was my first video and I feel like a star. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We love you. Happy New Year. Mwah. Aviva, how does the dance go? What dance? The galactic cha-cha-cha dance. You don't know? No, I have never seen it. Oh. I really, I really want to learn. Oh my gosh. Hold on one second. Let me just finish putting all this stuff away. And I will show it to you. Well, maybe I'll just make it up. And right I should now, put some clothes on too. Okay. All right, here we go. Can uh, I do it like this? Okay. All right, here we go. Go. Oh wait. Galactic cha 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 cha. Galactic cha 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 cha. Galactic cha 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 cha. Galactic cha 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 cha. What do you think? Wow, that was amazing. Awesome. It's the new dance. It sounds like everyone's gonna do it. Girls had a kind of a traumatic time in DC. I thought he had a fabulous trip, but it turned out he felt neglected by his daddy. Yeah, I mean, he was, like, really talking and, like, excited about it, and then I guess reality set in? Yeah. What? I mean... Sometimes it, it takes time for a trauma to sink in. Whoa. Well, I'll take care of him. We'll be okay. Thanks so much for coming over with Giancarlo. Giancarlo is happy to assist. Cha-cha-cha! Cha-cha-cha! We love you. See you next week. <laughs>